That was the show Saturday night, man. What? It was awesome. David was drunk talking to my parents the whole yeah, time. Yeah, I talked to the May family. <laughs> they were having fun. I guess the songs I write are uh, definitely uh, inspired by like books I read, possibly even more so than like music I hear. You hate what your parents did. You love what your grandparents did. I don't know. Maybe that's just me. But I think my grandparents were pretty classy people. <laughs> If I was young, I'd flee this town I buried my dreams underground As did I, we drink Beiru student med er bare to av flere artister som for tiden lager noe gammeldags musikk. Fellesnevneren her er at de begge har en stor fascination for den sentimentale popmusikken, den som vokste fram på 30-, 40- og 50-tallet. Lydverket dro til USA for å finne ut om disse to unge mennene er like håpløst romantiske som musikken de lager. I, I straddle the line between being what you could call like an older soul and also being a young, scared, immature kid. I grew up on some pretty sentimental stuff, you know, I mean pop music is all about sentimentality, it's all about nostalgia. Bandet Beirut består i all hovedsak av Zack Condon. Han kom ut av gutterommet i 2006 med Gulash Orchestra, en av de mest imponerende debutplatene noensinne. Den var stappfull av Balkan-inspirert folkemusikk, ikke noe du vanligvis forventer av en 19-åring fra Santa Fe. Jeg har spilt min hele adolescens med å være sad og lønn, og jeg levde helt i min hodet. Det er kanskje det som leder opp til hvorfor musikken er så kind of romantisk og ekstrem i den sensen. 23-åringen Dent May er en annen fyr som ikke nødvendigvis passer inn i de normale high school film. I did feel like an outsider quite a bit growing up. In fact, I hated Mississippi when I was growing up. It might be hard to believe, but uh, I just like wanted to get the hell out. And um, but then once I did, I was I was ready to move back like immediately. Vi er på besøk hos den unge mannen i den lille sørstatsbyen Oxford, Mississippi. Så jeg har min rekord i vinduet, det er alltid godt å se. Dent har akkurat sluppet sin debutplate i USA, titulert The Good Feeling Music of Dent May and His Magnificent Ukulele. Det er et popalbum på ukulele. Jeg ville gjøre en slags partyrekord som gjør folk føle godt, vet du hva jeg mener? Og det har kanskje vært ukulele in the past 20 years, kind of like. So that's why people are like, wow, this, guy, this guy's making like happy songs that makes me want to clap my hands. That's so, you know, old school or something, but maybe that's just something that kind of got lost in the mix or something. My car's really messy. <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> you know, the Southern hospitality, the idea of Southern hospitality has become sort of a cliche, but it, I think it's totally true, you know? I mean, people are friendlier down here. It's just kind of like a slower pace of living down here, I think. Southerners are really nostalgic. Uh, we're always talking about the past and, and stuff like that, so. <laughs> home sweet home. I'm romantic in the sense that, like, I let my imagination kind of get the best of me, I feel like. I, I feel like my, the idea of the way things are in my head sometimes is a little different from reality. Growing up, I definitely romanticized the hell out of New York City, and I wanted to, I went there when I was 10 years old, and I said, you know, I'm gonna move here like when I, as soon as I'm 18, and I did, but I realized that like the whole romantic aspect of New York that I'd gotten from cinema and from music and, and like Frank Sinatra and stuff really wasn't the reality at all. Sack Beirut Condon har på sin side valgt å bo i nettopp New York. It's a hard thing to admit nowadays that you'd be a romantic person. It's it's almost ironic that I, you know, came to New York to to like see this this dream out, to see this this career happen, take place because New York is such an unromantic, unsentimental place and and I'm I'm completely sincere. No This is my humble abode, and uh, I guess I guess they call it East Williamsburg, Brooklyn. And uh, obviously, we cleaned the place up for you guys. Sorry. <laughs> You're responsible for your own life, and I still I'm still a kid, you know. I'm I'm still 22 years old. I I, 
I have this house and I have this career and I, I frankly I don't know what to do with it. I'm I'm still a little kid. The reason I chose this house is because it's <laughs> I mean from outside it's like this cute little suburban house uh, on a park, you know. It's it's very un New York actually. So yeah, I've 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 cornered myself off into my own version of New York. I'm not a harsh realist. I'd rather I'd rather live in my head. It's uh, it's embarrassing to admit. But yeah, I'm kind of a sentimental guy. Hopeless romantik gir ikke nødvendigvis klippekort til hitlistene i 2009. Det virker jo litt pussig at disse to velger å se tilbake i en popverden hvor alle hele tiden jager fremover. This is a really weird era when the music that's played on TV and on the radio is like harsh and jarring and schizophrenic sounding. I mean, it's kind of funny. I sound like my, you know, like my grandfather would or something. But yeah, what a weird, weird era. Having to to constantly push forward, even if it's not the best way forward, just to find a way forward from what came before you in order for people to keep listening. Selv om det er flere som hører på Lil Wayne sin muterte hiphop enn på Beirut og Dent May sin sentimentale popmusikk, så vokser deres fanskare for hver dag som går. Kanskje har utviklingen i dagens populærmusikk rett og slett gått for langt? Kan hende representerer Beirut og Dent May både fortiden og fremtiden? Kanskje de har det rett den første gangen, så å si, og det er derfor vi må holde tilbake til det. Fordi vi har prøvd å trykke ut og søke for andre ting, men kanskje det er bare... Maybe that was the only way to do it. In a hundred years, people will still just ukulele in a voice, you know? So it's really timeless more so than nostalgic to me. People will always, always be completely okay with just more old-fashioned song. The ones that worked 50 years ago and work to this day. Mm -hmm.